You can't read like this. Hmm, you're right. Now this is much better. Light is very important for us to be able to see things. When you were in darkness, did you manage to read? Nope, not a single word. Well, with the lights on, the words in your book reflect light to your eyes. The light that falls onto your book is bounced off into your eyes. That's why you are able to read. Hmm, bounce like a ball. Well, yes. Although your book does not produce light, it reflects the light, and light bounces off from your book to your eyes. There are many sources of light. Can you name some? Right, the sun and stars are sources of natural light. Bulb, burning candles, and torch are light sources that we can make use of to help us to see things. A potato or a dog does not produce light; therefore, we are not able to see them in the dark. Let us try out this experiment to see how exactly light is reflected or bounced. Oh, I see. The mirror reflects light from the torch onto the wall. Some materials like glass and plastic allow light to pass through them. They are transparent. What about wood? I can't see through it. Oh, wood is a type of material that does not allow light to pass through. Such materials are known as opaque materials. Opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them. Apart from wood, certain plastics, paper, clay, and metal do not allow light to pass through them. Ooh. It's like when I'm hiding behind a wall, no one can see me. Yes, and there are some materials that are in between. They allow a small amount of light to pass through them. Take a look at this frosted glass. Some types of paper, plastic, glass, or cloth allow a small amount of light to pass through them. Thus, you see a faint light behind these objects. Instead of a strong beam of light behind a transparent object. Hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, this is a sundial. Before clocks were invented, people made use of a sundial to tell the time. Hmm. How was it done? Well, the sundial makes use of shadow. That are cast to tell the time. Shadows. Yes, shadows are formed when lights fall into objects that do not allow light to pass through them. Teacher, you mean opaque objects? Yes. Now shine the torch onto the bottle. I can see a dark figure on the wall. Well, this dark figure is in fact a shadow. The bottle blocks the light from the torch, and in turn, a shape of the bottle is cast onto the wall. Do you know that you can estimate the time of the day just by looking at your shadow? It's morning, and the sun has just risen from the east. Notice that your shadow is long, and it is cast in the direction of the west. At noon, when the sun is hanging right above your head. The shadow that is cast is rather short. Hmm. Now it is evening time and the sun is setting in the west. My shadow is pointing to the east. My shadows point in the opposite directions depending on the direction of the light. Well, you have learned quite a fair bit about light today. Yes, I have. I know that an object can be seen when it reflects light. A transparent material allows light to pass through it. When light is blocked by an object, a shadow is formed. 
Wow, that's great. Guess I'll see you around. Bye.